my goal is for this year I had two half sticks, one for that way. One was before our white team of shots and one was after. I think whether all of us plan on finishing shots in three years or not is irrelevant. But the fact that we saw a person who could do it, who's really in our place who could do it, was really just an inspiration to see how much you could accomplish in this yeshiva. Other than that, I think the combination of that knowledge and dedication to learning Torah, plus being a person who's most responsible for my batal after 12 o'clock, in the base matter, being someone who was both really a good future, future God of the Torah, and also just an amazing guy to talk to, really believe the people is an amazing thing. On top of that, he gave a great afternoon to Chalagat and Naveen on Yeshaya, which really opened up the world of Naveen to me, learning how to learn Nebuah, which is really, all those three combined together, had a huge impact on the year, and thank you, Aram. Okay, to call to Arrow, we'd like to call upon Benji Lehman. Alright, so I was uh, called upon to uh, speak about with Dan. Um, when I was asked to speak about with Dan, I was, you know, I was like, hey, I can do that. You know, I've known him for quite some time, back in my Moshavah days, and still back in his Moshavah days. And uh, now I got to you know, know him more in Shiva. And then I, you know, like I sat down, I was going to write this, and I was like, so what does Rav Dan do in Yeshiva? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> he runs shot of that, I guess, but what does that mean? So um, I turned to the Shana Alf guy next to me in the base, and I was like, hey, what do you think Rav Dan does in Yeshiva? And he's like, who's Rav Dan? So, um, basically, <laughs> But Rodan does tremendous actually, you know, Rodan does tremendous amounts in the Yeshiva, you know, maybe more behind the scenes and maybe more directed towards Shana Bet. But um, you know, I want uh, I want to express thanks for all those amazing things that he does that you know we may not be, you know, you know, that may not be so out there, but uh, you know, he does incredible things. Um, and I think it just it goes to show that it's part of his personality that you know he's humble and it's part of his character and the way he carries himself. And it's a tremendous, uh, tremendous role model for us uh, in the base. Uh, there are also other things that Dan does that are more uh, out there and more open um, that you see that he does. For example, you know he has us over for shops and the meals all the time. And uh, I'd like to point out that Dan is one of the best cooks in Yeshiva, if you did not know. Uh -huh. Really, really makes a good chillin'. <laughs> also, uh, you know, I think something that I personally have benefited from more uh, was the pres his presence in the base. Uh, being able to know the guys and schmooze with the guys and talk to the guys. Um, I, I know I used to use Rip Dan as a little bit of a, like a, a guy to vent to, especially early on in the year when we're making some difficult decisions, as we had a lot of people go through in Shana Bet. And, um, you know, I used to just call him over. And he, I, you know, he used to ask me, you know, he would come over to me, he'd know exactly what was going on. He asked me, he wouldn't, like, you know, he would ask me X, Y, and Z, you know, how is this and this and this. He knew, he knew me personally. And he, um, and then, you know, and then I would proceed to spill my guts to him a little bit. <laughs> and he would just take it because he's a really unbelievable listener. It's an unbelievable uh, 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 talent and, uh, um, you know, attribute that he has uh, that he really helps guys out. And I'm really, really thankful for that. Um, and I just want to thank on behalf of everyone, uh, Ravan, for, uh, you know, always being there when we needed him and giving us the best shot of ever possibly could have asked for and uh, just being amazing and uh, doing what you do. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to call up Zevi Litwin.
Okay. Um, so, as I was saying before, um, I first met Rav Dovi. Good one. Okay. I first met Rav Dovi uh, in Marisha, and I remember, you know, he came over to me, you know, with the uh, biggest, warmest smile, um, and he he had been emailing us already. Um, before the summer, and telling us how excited he was to meet us all in camp, and he came over, you know, with this big, warm smile, and gave me a hug, and said, you know, how excited he is. Uh, it's going to be a great year at Yeshivat Hotel, and uh, you know, looking back now, it, it really was uh, a, a great year. Um, Rav Dovi does so much around Yeshiva, and I'm very thankful I had, you know, I had a lot to do with him this year in, in many different areas. Uh, not only was he my uh, Shul Meishi for the afternoon, but also for, for Night Seder and uh, his Thursday night Chaburos were great, you know, doing different, we, in Rav Dovi's Chaburos we did uh, different Shah Sugyas that come up in the Masechus that we were learning and, you know, all, each one was better than the next. Um, but not only, you know, was, did I have a relationship uh, with Rav Dovi, you know, in the base, but also out of the base, in either, you know, talking to him around Yeshiva or being uh, at, his, at his home for, for Shabbat meals. Um, and that was great too, but even in a, a third realm that we had, and I think not just me, but we all had to do with Rav Dovi was uh, his famous Nigga of the Week, um, which we all look forward to um, every Thursday night, uh, you know, getting a chance to come, you know, sing together and learn, learn a new Nigga every week. Um, most of them were, were new to me, at least, uh, but they were, they were all amazing and really enjoyed that every week. Um, I remember one, one specific memory about Rav Dovi from this year was it was early in the year when we had uh, uh, when we had the Kumdits uh, for Rav Shlomo Kabbalah's yard site and I remember you know, I got there a little late, I don't remember what it was but I got there and I just from all the way, you know, from the time I was leaving the base I could already hear you know, everyone singing in the room and it just sort of drew me towards it and from you know, from that moment on for the next However many hours it was, we all just sat there singing, and I think it was our, you know, well into the middle of the night, 12, 30, 1 o'clock, when we finished, and the first thing Rav Dovi said to me is that, you know, we're looking forward already to next year, and uh, I don't know if you all know this, but Rav Dovi's one of the most meticulous people in Yeshiva, I believe, I don't know what the exact date is, but he already has every niggin planned out for the next 5, 10 years, whatever it is, um, and I know we're all... Uh, Looking forward to that, so from everyone, and especially from myself, I want to say a big thank you for Adobe for everything he's done for us this year.